guys, it's Thursday, March 24th. And while I'm not officially on spring break, I am officially on spring break because I may or may not be skipping my classes today and going home early. So weather's rather dreary outside, not exactly the spring break weather I was anticipating, but also I do love the rain. So I'm like not that mad about it. I'm so out of breath. I've been running around for like the last half hour just putting things in my car because I literally take so much stuff home with me every time I leave because minimalism is apparently not in my vocabulary. Almost all of it's in there. I have a box of books sitting over there that I need to take, but then I'm off, so. It is a little bit later and I'm obviously back at my house and I have book mail to show you guys that I've been waiting to unbox and I'm just so excited about it. Got a couple books and then I also have something that I ordered off of Etsy which is a little bookmark which I'm also very excited about so we'll just start with the bookmark. I know I haven't like introduced what I'm reading or like all that stuff for the week but I'll, I'll get into it in a minute. I'm just so excited about my new my new things okay so i got this from divine pages and co i think i found them on instagram and i saw that they had this bookmark it's the dedication i think from a quarter frost and starlight by sarah j maz and then i think it might also be is it like a part of her, her other books in, the, in that series i don't remember but i just love the artwork on this and i haven't bought a bookmark off of etsy in a really long time and I saw this one, I thought it was a good price, and I love it. It's so cute and I cannot wait to use it. I'll probably use it in whatever books I plan on reading this week. Then I also bought some things from Book Depository. I bought these a couple weeks ago and I ordered them here specifically so I could open them during spring break. Anyway, this is the Penguin Book of Witches. Um, not exactly seasonally appropriate, but I am gonna be glad to have this in the fall. It's literally just like a bunch of witch stories from medieval Europe through colonial America. That sounds fascinating. I do love witchy things. So I just wanted to pick up a book about it. And then these two I am very, very excited about. So I love the Penguin English Library editions. I think they're gorgeous. So I decided to pick up two more. First up, I bought Frankenstein, which I, yes, I have already read this book, but I loved it. And I really have been eyeing it in this edition for the longest time. I just think the cover art on it, it's a little overexposed, but like the hearts on it, I just think are so cool. And I love the light blue color of it. Oh, I'm just a really big fan of it. I've literally been looking at buying this ever since I read it in like July. So I figured if I've been thinking about it for that long, I should probably just do it, so. We have Frankenstein. And then I also picked up Emma by Jane Austen. We got some little chairs on here. I'm sure that has something to do with the story, but I haven't read it, so I don't know. I hear a lot of people say that this is their favorite, but I also hear a lot of people say that Pride and Prejudice is their favorite. So maybe starting out with like the two most beloved ones is not my best idea because theoretically, it'll just be downhill from here. <laughs> but like, I don't know. So Emma, I know, I think, I have a general understanding of this book and it's that Emma is like rich and she kind of plays matchmaker to a bunch of people around her and she's kind of insufferable. I just love these editions so much. I think they're so cool. Anyway, um, here is the book mail that I have to show you today. All right, good morning, you guys. It is Friday, the 25th of March. I have finally decided what I'm going to be reading for this vlog. I am very excited to be reading this book. I actually started reading it a couple of weeks ago and I got to page three. And then I was like, I'm gonna put it down for a little bit because I had a lot going on. But now I have some spare brain cells because no, I'm not doing any schoolwork over spring break. And I am going to be continuing Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, which I'm very excited about. I was struggling with trying to figure out what I wanted to read for spring break because obviously I must make the most of this week. And I saw this one in my backpack. I forgot it was in my backpack. And I was like, that is perfect, literally perfect. So 
We're reading Throne of Glass. I'm very interested to see what I think of this book. I really don't know much of anything about this book, which I love going into books like that, so it's just perfect. Yeah, let's just get into it. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Let's go. I made it to the end of chapter one which is further than I made it the first time and it starts out with Selena I think that is how you say her name is imprisoned in this salt mine place I think they're salt mines and she's being taken somewhere in a shroud of darkness or whatever and she's like concerned that they're gonna go hang her finally but Turns out they're taking her to the crown prince. And I was like, this is such a typical way to start like a YA fantasy book. And honestly, I'm excited about it. I just need something like fast paced and fun right now. And I think this may be exactly the right pick for that. Something that reminds me of the books that I used to read in like middle school and stuff. You know, I'm only like six pages into it, but I'm intrigued i say that all the time but i am intrigued by the first six pages okay hello all and it is the afternoon now i think i read like 30 pages of throne of glass this morning and I am enjoying it. It's very typical YA fantasy, which honestly I'm not mad about. Like, it's kind of nice to just get lost in it for a while and not have to think too much about it. And also, I didn't realize there was like a competition kind of aspect to this book, but there is. They're competing to be like the king's champion, which I would assume is some sort of like spy type deal. I'm not 100% sure if I really understand it, but just generally, I'm enjoying it so far, so yeah, but I'm only 30 pages in, so, you know. The main character, um, Selena, I don't really know if I like her. <laughs> She's kind of annoying, but we shall see how the rest of the book goes. Right now, I'm at Half Price Books, shockingly enough. <laughs> I have some books to return, and then obviously I'm going to pick up some books. I'm thinking about picking up some more classics. Not 100% sure though because I want to buy more Jane Austen books because I think now I've mentally committed to reading the rest of her books So I'd like to pick them up So we will find out. I don't know though. We'll just see what they have morning now and I have a reading update on Throne of Glass. I am now on page 113 which is chapter 15 and I am enjoying it so far. I wouldn't say that I think this is going to be a five-star read but it's not bad. I really enjoy all of the descriptions of the glass castle that they are currently staying in. I think it sounds gorgeous and then they went to the library and they were talking about all these books. They're having a lot of conversations 
about books and I just enjoy that so much. I would personally love to visit. I don't know if I'm a huge fan of Selena as a main character. I get that her like personality is that she's cocky, she's this like big badass assassin whatever but like she's kind of annoying sometimes and I don't dislike her but it is kind of I don't know she's kind of insufferable to be honest but it's not like a huge turn off for the book for me but I can't necessarily say I like her as a main character and I also don't see where the romantic prospects of this book are going because you know you have Dorian and then you have Kale I don't know if I necessarily see romance brewing between either of the two pairs but like it's a Sarah J Mass book so there's probably gonna be romance in some aspect. I know there's like more characters that are like big in this series that I don't even know if they get introduced in this first book or not like I literally have no clue. There's no sign of them and I'm on page like a hundred so like I just don't know but there has been a little bit of talk about like magic and witches and fairies and I'm just interested to see how all of that comes into play because right now there's none of it there's like absolutely none of it and obviously there's going to be some of it at some point or else you wouldn't be talking about it overall i am very interested in how this book is starting off i'm enjoying it and i could see myself maybe continuing it obviously i'll have to see how the last three-fourths of this book goes but i don't dislike it like it's a good time generally so yeah that's kind of that. But as for like general plans for the rest of the day, I think I'm gonna work some more on my crochet bag that I started in my last video. It's going well. Um, I just need to get the motivation to like start working on it again because I don't think I've done anything on it in a couple days, but I will finish it. I always start things and I never finish them as far as like crochet projects go. It's my goal to finish it this week. So I think that's doable. That's kind of my update for the morning and I'll see you when I see you. guys it is a bit later in the day and i'm very excited because i have a package to unbox which i'm so excited so cass who is a very good friend that i have met recently through like booktube and instagram and all that offered to send me her edition with the original cover of a court of frost and starlight which admittedly is the worst book in the Akatar series, but the cover for this book is literally stunning. It is my favorite of the series. And I have it here to unbox and I'm literally so excited. It was so kind of her to send it to me and I still can't get over it. So Cass, thank you so much. I'm so excited. So we're just gonna like open it. I'm really hyped. Like literally the best cover of any of the at guitar books fight me on it you know it's true she sent me a little envelope i must open i must open oh my god i'm so excited oh my god she sent me stuff from her etsy store i am actually crying oh these are gorgeous oh my god oh my god i will also link her etsy shop in the description which you have to check it out all of her stuff is so cute let's get a little haul we have the medieval weapons I love some good medieval weapons. These are literally perfect for my bullet journal. Oh, we have dragons. I love dragons. The Akatar stickers, love to see it. Winter potions, are you kidding me? She has these amazing maps which she hand draws and they're just stunning. I literally am obsessed with them and she sent me two prints of them. I'm gonna lose my shit, <laughs> okay. Cause they're just so cool. So this is the one from Shadow and Bone 
or six of crows either one the grisha verse as a whole and i oh my god and then the other one is literally my favorite map out of any book this is a map from a court of silver flames and just like the detailing on this is absolutely exquisite i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna lose it <laughs> thank you so much Cass. i have to go message her and scream about it so that's just my update for now i have read a little bit more of throne of glass but like not enough to really talk about so yeah i spent a lot of the afternoon crocheting which hopefully i'll be able to finish my bag tonight like that's my goal and i'll show you tomorrow so yeah that's it <laughs> all right guys it's sunday morning and i have very exciting updates I finished my tote bag and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Honestly, it's so cute. <laughs> this is, I'm so excited to use this for the fall. I'm shocked I actually finished it to be honest because I start so many crochet projects and I just never finish them. Like I was looking in my closet last night just at what yarn I had and I found like three different things that I started and never finished, but this one is finished and I'm so excited about it. It's gonna be super cute for fall. I'm just so excited. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's like, that was really my exciting update. I also have made some progress in Throne of Glass. I'm now on page 216, which is chapter 29, and I am starting to enjoy this book a little bit more. I have just been thoroughly enjoying all of the running about this castle, discovering secret passageways. There was a little bit last night, it was like 12.30, and I was reading, it was like a little bit spooky. And I was like, oh, there's like this really dark corridor that she's hearing whispers from. I was like, I don't like this, but Fritz was hanging with me. So like, it was okay. I just really am enjoying the imagery in this book and setting so much. Again, I don't really know if I like Selena that much and I don't really know if I enjoy the, what I am assuming to be the romantic prospects in this book. Also, there's like this little murder mystery aspect going on in it that I am like, decently interested in as well it definitely adds something to the plot because the competition is really not taking like a large part of this book like it's kind of on the back burner for most of it and then you're kind of focusing on the characters more so gonna read some more of throne of glass today gonna work on my crocheting some more today it's gonna be a chill day it's pretty dreary outside honestly like it's very cloudy it's like 45 outside, which is not what I was envisioning for spring break, but I think it's supposed to get a little bit warmer throughout the week. We're talking like 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so like not that warm, but nice. I really wanted to wear some shorts this week, but I don't know if that's happening. That is the Sunday morning update. I'll talk to you later. I've been thinking for the longest time that this wall right here, you can say it's so boring. There's just like nothing on it. I want to do something on it. I've tried to do like gallery walls and stuff before, but I never liked how they looked. I have decided that I'm gonna do a book page wall. I have actually, <laughs> it looks so bad. I made an artistic rendering <laughs> and it looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> My favorite part is if you look in the mirror in my closet, you can see me taking a picture. It's not even funny. Oh my gosh. Anyways, a book though. And I could go to the thrift store and pick out some books, but the thing is I really want low cost. As in like zero dollars low cost. So I could take one of my Harry Potter books, I guess, because I'm never gonna read them. And the copy of Order of the Phoenix that I have is so beat up. It's so sad looking. Oh no, that is not good. Oh well, that's fine. I definitely just knocked like two books behind my bookcase, but this is what I get for keeping books on top of my bookshelf. I think I might use the fifth one just because it is in worse shape, like falling apart in worse shape. And this is like the most disheveled book that I currently own. So, I think I might use this one. And it's not like this was my copy. I literally just like picked it up from the thrift store for like 50 cents last year. So I have no emotional attachment to it. Maybe you have a problem with me ripping apart books. And if that's the case, then I'm so sorry, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. So, um. 
let's go. Okay guys, it is Monday morning and I finished my book page wall. It's definitely a lot, but I kind of really love it actually. Like I'm a big fan. Also, before I get into my last reading update, I have found the perfect thing to do with my beautiful art prints from Cass. And I have to show you guys just because I think they look so good here. So I have like these two picture frames. Or there's four picture frames and there's like two smaller picture frames by my window and I've been trying to figure out what to put there to like tie them together because it's just been like random pictures thus far but I thought it would be the perfect place to put my lovely art prints what is what is this called <laughs> why do I not know what it as a whole what it's called the Grisha verse um is there an all-encompassing name for this I don't know <laughs> and then we also Hey. And then we also have the gorgeous Prithian map. I don't know if I have said this already, but you should check out Cass's Etsy shop. Anyway, on to my reading update. All right, welcome to my excuse um, for filming in front of my new wall. Moving on to reading updates. I actually finished Throne of Glass last night. I think I had like 150 pages left. And then I started doing this to my wall and I found the audiobook. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna listen while I do this and this took me a lot longer than I expected so I literally just ended up finishing the audiobook you can definitely tell that I stopped like annotating and listening to the audiobook towards the end here um but that's okay because I really didn't have that much to say so I think I'm gonna end up giving this book a 3.75 out of 5 stars and I don't typically use quarter stars but this one was like just almost at a four but like not quite but it wasn't a three so it was like almost there i really did like the imagery and the setting of this book i've said it a couple times in this video already but i loved the the glass castle aspect i loved the secret passageways the dark corridors just the creepy things that were like happening i liked the plot of this book but i wasn't really that into the characters which i feel like doesn't happen a lot because i'm a very like character based reader and i don't necessarily care about plots too much but i enjoyed the competition aspect of this book and like the murderer mystery ish kind of thing that was going on but the characters didn't necessarily fall flat but they're just like Compared to other Sarah J Maas characters, they're not my favorite, which makes sense because this is her first book, but I still just like didn't connect with them. Selena is still kind of annoying to me. There's like this weird love triangle thing being introduced and I don't necessarily care about either of the pairs that much, I think. Generally, I enjoy this book though. I like, I'm very glad I picked it up, just like not blowing my mind. However, I do think I'm going to continue this series. Definitely gonna pick up Crown of Midnight sometime soon but i do have a question to those of you who have read this series i think it's the assassin's blade is like the prequel and i feel like i've seen somewhere that you can read the prequel before you start the series which obviously i didn't do but like is there a good time to read the prequel or should i just like do it whenever now because i do want to i guess it's about selena's past i would like to know more about it so i don't know just like to those of you who have read this series please let me know if there's a good time to read it, if I should just like do it whenever. I, I literally have no clue. Um, so let me know. <laughs> but I'm not unhappy that I decided to read Throne of Glass because I did generally enjoy my time. It's super fast paced, which I do very much enjoy. The chapters, short chapters. I think we all feel the same way about short chapters and it just reads super quick. It's like not a short book. It's like 400 pages, but it didn't take me that long to get through. And generally, I enjoyed my time. I felt like there was always something happening. I never really got bored during this book, which is also really good. It was a good time. I will say it was a good time. That's the vlog. <laughs> I'm, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a fun time, so I hope you guys did too. If you did, please let me know down below. Have you read Throne of Glass? Um, did you enjoy it? 
What were your thoughts? Is it anybody's favorite Sarah J Mass series? I'd love to know. I, I guess that's it. I will see you guys in my next video. Yeah, bye.